is Antoinette Alexander with Shopper Buzz, and we're here on the streets of Manhattan talking to parents about what they know about the FDA's recent action on infant cough cold products. Are you uh, familiar with the FDA's recent action regarding infant cough cold products? Yes. Yes, I am. I've heard it on the news. And, and what was your reaction? Um, you, you mentioned that you, uh, you care for a little one. What was your reaction to that? Well, I don't know because sometimes, I mean, my kids were raised with them and my grandkids. So this is like a third generation for me. And they were always in the market when I, you know, my kids were little. So I've always used them. So now it's kind of weird that they're not in the market any longer. And now I don't know, you know, what to give the child when he does get sick. So, so yeah, like you said, I mean, what do you give the child now that they're sick? So what have you been doing? Have you been consulting with your physician or, or what are you doing now? Right. Well, his mom usually takes him to the doctor and we take it from there. Whatever the doctor says to do, that's what we do. But usually he's not getting anything now. He'll get like uh, some Tylenol if he has a fever. But if he has a cold, more or less, he's just going to, you know, let it go through his system. Basically, that's what we do because we have no other choice now. Everything's been pulled off the market, so... Now, are you aware, are you uh, familiar with the FDA's um, recent action regarding uh, children's cough cold products? Yes, I am. I, um, I either heard it on the news or I saw it on the newspaper, one or the other. Okay. Uh, and when your child uh, does come down with something, what do you usually give your child? We usually either use some of the stuff that we still had from before. Um, we had some Tylenol cold. Or we'll try something just... Um, just letting the child get through the cold by themselves, seeing the doctor and making sure everything is okay with them, giving them some nebulizer treatments, things like that, that we have at home. So given the FDA's action, what is your response to that? What are you giving your child now? Um, you know, I, I guess I sort of disagree because I think it did help when we had the products and I didn't think there was anything wrong with it. I mean, we always read labels. So... Um, and now we just try to deal what we, you know, with what we have. So it makes it a little bit more difficult, I think. Um, and I guess we just have to start looking for more alternative um, treatments. Are you familiar with the FDA's recent uh, action regarding kids' cough cold products? Yes. Yes, I am. So, you know, I don't absolutely agree with them taking the cough medicines off of the, you know, the shelves. You know, just in case if it's late, maybe the kids get sick, you know, you need Tylenol or Benadryl or, you know, whatever you need. And you can't get it, like, from the store. You have to take them to the emergency room and get a written out prescription. You know, to me, it's really basically all the same. It does the same things. It clears it up in the same amount of time. So I don't agree with them taking it off. So prior to this move, what did you give your children when they were sick, and what are you going? What are you doing now? Well, I take them to the doctor. <laughs> I have In terms no of medication. Well, I have no choice. You know, if they have a cough, I, I take them to the doctor and I get you know whatever they prescribe for me. As um, far as like cough syrups go, Robitussins. You know, these are things that we grew up on. You know, it's, it, to me, it's no difference. It didn't make sense for them to take it off, you know. Um, the FDA advisory committee is um, recommending that products, uh, cough cold products, are not recommended for children under six. So, uh, you know, what's your thoughts on that? Why is that? Uh, just due to safety concerns. They're, they're not recommending it for, uh, for children under six. Um, what do you usually uh, give your child when they're sick? To be honest, she's pretty healthy. So she hasn't been sick for 19 months. So I think it's up to each individual family to decide whether or not to um, use cough cold medicine in their beliefs. We, we don't really, I mean, she's not even doing the flu shot. So we don't believe in that. You know, I feel like you, you need to build your antibodies. Are you familiar with the FDA's recent action regarding uh, the infant cough cold products? Well, I just found out about it, so it's, it's news to me. And what is your reaction? Well, uh, I ha having my wife pregnant, and we're going to be having an infant soon, and we have two infant children, six-year-olds, two six-year-olds, so it's interesting to know about these products. Uh, when uh, you have two six-year-olds, uh, when they do become sick, what, do you, what are you currently giving them? Well, we currently we're giving them the cough medicines. I mean, what else is there out there? There's nothing else out there, really. Um, you give them either the pills or the cough medicine when they have a cough, sneezing, for different types of symptoms. You have this, this, the syrups that you give them, the cough syrups. So that's, I, I don't know what else they're going to come up with now.